Hi, my name is Ashish and this is the video 2 for the Azure Kubernetes workshop. In this video, we will see how to deploy Kubernetes with Azure Kubernetes service. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logging on to the portal. So as discussed, the company wants to use Kubernetes as their compute platform. The development teams already use containers for the application development and deployment and using an orchestration platform will help them rapidly build, deliver and scale their application. To do this, we need to deploy the foundation of the Kubernetes environment. So in this video, we will create a new resource group. We will configure cluster networking. We will create an AKS cluster. We will connect to the Kubernetes cluster by using kubectl and we will create a Kubernetes namespace. Very important thing that you should note you should uh, you need your own Azure subscription to run this exercise and it may occur some charges as I told you before if you don't already have an Azure subscription please create a free account before you begin this workshop all right so I'm gonna use the cloud shell to launch and prepare my resources so my cloud shell is launching i'm going to drag this up a little bit and i'm going to so we are going to reuse some of the values throughout the deployment scripts for example we need to choose a region where you want to create a resource group such as east us if you select a different value remember it for the rest of the uh, the videos in this workshop and you may need to redefine the value between cloud shell sessions so run the following commands to record these values in bash variables so let me copy it down for you open up the bash uh, cloud shell and uh, I'm typing region name as east us resource group would be my aks workshop subnet name would be aks dash subnet and the vnet that i'm going to use would be aks dash vnet And I can check the value here um, if I use uh, uh, let me echo dollar region name. East US so looks good to me. And to proceed further, I will create a new resource group. Uh, with the name AKS Workshop using the AZ group, AZ group create command. I'm going to use AZ group create. The name would be the resource group that would be AKS Workshop. Location it would pick up as East US. All right, it is done. And now I'm going to configure the networking. So we have two network models to choose from when deploying an AKS cluster. The first is KubeNet networking and the second is Azure Container Networking Interface which is also called CNI. So what is KubeNet networking? KubeNet networking is the default networking model in Kubernetes with Kubelet, with I'm sorry, with KubeNet networking, nodes get assigned an IP address from the Azure Virtual Network subnet and the ports would receive an IP address from a logically different address space to the Azure Virtual Network subnet of the nodes. Net, uh, your network address translation, which is NAT, is then configured so that the ports can reach resources on the Azure Virtual Network. The source IP address of the traffic is translated to the node's primary IP address and then configured on the nodes. And one thing to note, here is that the ports receive an IP address that's hidden behind the node IP. And if you think, and what is and what is Azure Container Networking, which is CNI? With CNI, the AKS cluster is connected to existing virtual network resources and configurations. In this networking model, every port gets an IP address from the subnet and can be accessed directly. And these IP addresses must be unique 
across the network space and will be calculated in advance. Some of the features you will use require you to deploy the AKS cluster by using the CNI, which is container networking interface. You can read more about CNI or KubeNet on the Microsoft official documentation. So first, I will create a virtual network and subnet and the ports deployed in the cluster will be assigned an IP from this subnet. Let me run it. So AZ network create the location, the address space, subnet name and the subnet prefix. It's a normal Bnet that we create in the Azure. It is done. And now we will retrieve and store the subnet ID in a bash variable by running this command. Right, subnet ID, I'm going to store it and I'll hit enter. Okay, now I'm going to create an AKS cluster. So I've already created a new virtual network and then I can go and create a cluster. There are two values we need to know before running the AZ AKS create command to create an AKS cluster. The first is the version of the latest and uh, the Kubernetes version available in the region. So to get the latest non-preview Kubernetes version, I should use AZ AKS get version command like this. So it will give me an output. And the AKS cluster name should be unique. So do it, I'm going to add it with a random name. And now I'm going to create AZ AKS create command you in the resource group. AKS cluster would be random. VM site would be the latest, which is virtual machine skill set. I'm using two nodes. Uh, load balancer would be created as the, as the standard tier. Location would be East US, version would be latest. Network plugin I'm using Azure. Subnet ID would be subnet, the service CID I'm using this, DNS service, Docker bridge and the SSH keys to connect to my nodes when the AKS cluster is created. Let me pause the video and come back. Alright, it is created successfully. And when it is done, I'm going to... I've specifically specified that the VM set type should be VMSS. And the VM scale sets enable you to switch on the cluster auto scaler when needed. We are specifying the creation of AKS cluster by using the CNI plugin. The networks wherein the pods get IP address from the the VNet that we are creating in, and the service CIDR that we use. This address range is the set of virtual IPs that Kubernetes assigns to internal services in the cluster. The range must not be within the virtual network IP address range of the cluster. It should be different from the subnet created for the port. And the DNS service IP that we use, the IP address is for the cluster's DNS service. This address must be within the Kubernetes service address range. Please don't use the first IP address in the address range such as 0.1. The first address in the subnet range is used for the uh, kubernetes.default.svc.cluster.local address. And the Docker bridge address, the Docker bridge network address represents the default Docker bridge network address present in all Docker installations. AKS clusters or the ports themselves don't use Docker bridge. However, we have to that we have to set this address to continue supporting scenarios such as Docker built within the AKS cluster. It's required to select a classless interdomain routing, which is CIDR for the Docker bridge network address. If you don't set a CIDR, Docker choose a subnet automatically. This should could uh, this subnet could conflict with other CIDRs. So if I get the uh, if I want to test the connectivity by using kubectl, so kubectl is the main Kubernetes command line uh, we use to interact with the cluster and is available in Cloud Shell. So if I'm going to use az aks get credentials command to connect to this, I'm going to hit enter. Merge this is this as the current OK. Now if I do kubectl get notes. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry to type in it in the capital letters. It's case sensitive, so I'm using two nodes here, right? Here, 
using two nodes and now I have to create a Kubernetes namespace for the application. So this, this company's website want to deploy several apps from other teams in the deployed AKS cluster as well. So instead of running multiple clusters, the company wants to use the Kubernetes feature that let you logically isolate teams and workloads in the same cluster. So I can create different namespaces and deploy different applications. The goal is to provide the least number of privileges scope to the resource each team needs. So what is a namespace? A namespace in Kubernetes creates a logical isolation boundary. Names of resources must be unique within a namespace but not across namespaces. If we don't specify the namespace when we work with Kubernetes resources, the default namespace is implied. So let me create a namespace. So if I go and do kubectl get namespace so i have default namespace i have cube node lease i have cube public and cube system so I, i'm going to create a namespace here i'm going to use cube ctl create namespace i'm going to create a namespace using this command and the name of my namespace would be ratings app it is created. So if I'm going to run this again, I'm going to see the rating app, ratings app namespace. Okay. So what have we done in this video? In this video, we created a resource group for the resources. We created a virtual network for the cluster to use. We then deployed the AKS cluster, including, including the Azure CNI networking mode, which is container networking interface. We then connected to the cluster with kubectl and created a namespace for the Kubernetes resources. In the next video, we will create and configure an ACR instance to use with the AKS cluster, which would store our containerized ratings app or the images. So I hope it was useful for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.